Welcome. 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 Welcome to the Addicts. Bitch. Well, come I to the, whole word. the Annex. This, this is the fix. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the fix. <laughs> that was uh, tough. That was a cluster. Tough. Okay. All, as always. Hey guys, welcome to the Annex. As usual, we are the Annex, and we are completely inept at doing anything what, what, of the slightest what? complication, as you have just seen. But we're still giving you the fix. Oh so, yeah. Let's uh, let's start this thing off right. Last time we talked about our favorite video games. Well, this time, let's start it off with our least favorite video games. Oh, gosh. There's Anybody have some... any ideas? I don't know. I, can we go on? Do you, should we just go in order again? You want to start us off? Me? Yeah. What's your least favorite video game, Chase? Ooh, the one that comes to mind right exactly now is Mirror's Edge, the very mm-hmm. first one. Aww. It's got to be, because that game had such crappy AI. It was it a classic. Yeah, but it was but great. It, yeah. It, the movement system was all right. By now standards, it, it it's horrible. But in its time, it was all right. But the amount of glitches in it, I could I could never... I have a personal vendetta against that game. Not because it's a bad game, but because there's a single part where I had to jump, hit a pipe, then jump again, hit another pipe, slide down, turn around, do a flag or something. That's what she said. This, this shit got me so mad that I broke one of my controllers. I She's hate demanding. It. <laughs> I never encountered a glitch in that game, and I played through it four times. Same. Uh, back I didn't play through it. So I think that's a good place to insert uh, Chase, Chase fucked up. up. Uh, so, <laughs> JD, what's your least favorite video game? Oh, man. What do you think? What's the first one that you just really boils your blood, that re- really just cracks your banana in half and bleeds it out, you know? Ooh. What's the first one that just... Don't shoves a that. hammer up grinds there. my gears. Just say something so you'll stop yeah, talking. Really gears my grinders. What's your least favorite video game? What's the one that really grinds your gears? Crush Hour. Crush Hour? Does anybody know that? I don't. No, but I explain don't. it. So, you guys know, like, um, what's it called? It was, Crush Hour? Crush Hour? No, 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 no. It was a Jackie car Chan? game, and you guys had, like, mounted guns on him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah what's it called? Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal. Yeah. yeah. Was it, it like was that? it was a spin-off of Twisted Metal but with WWE characters. Oh my god. What? It was the worst. <laughs> my parents got it for me one Christmas and oh, I thought it was god. sick because my favorite wrestler of course is Dwayne the Rock Johnson. He is my father. Mm. But Um, I was so excited. I played it and it was terrible. I, I played it, like, the other day, and <laughs> I don't even know how I was... It's Dwayne the Rock Johnson, though. It so can't wait, be terrible. Wait, are you the reason that Dwayne is bald? Did you absorb you took his hair? <laughs> is that... Yeah. You absorbed <laughs> the facial gorges. You should feel ashamed well, of yourself. He's always been cutie. gorgeous. Oh. I don't know. But when did, but when did the so Rock when, lose When the hair? Rock gave birth. Right. To JD. <laughs> All of a sudden, like, The Rock used to be, like, 17 out of 10 gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Now he's, like, a a 12, because JD would have been born a 10, but he's 15. Like, he absorbed right, right. that 5. How was he born at the age of 15? Birth. But wait, during, he, like, popped out, out of his soul. neck, like, Thor. <laughs> like <Zeus>. Thor, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so wait, during the coitus, though, outside of the room coitus. and drifting through the house, the could, could coitus. you smell what The Rock was cooking? <laughs> Hell Yeah. I even did the eye. Okay. Can you I smell what well, the rock is cooking? There you go. He's got the eyebrow. Yeah. Alright. I guess that. that Who else, has, that's to you, buddy. Who else right, has you got a least out. favorite game? Yeah. Oh god. I. So back in the day, everyone was really hoping for another Duke Nukem game. Oh. oh. No, yeah. we weren't. So. <laughs> uh. Little story to go along with this. My brother and I were super hyped. We're like, uh, you know, back in the day, you could just download demos of games on the PS3, and we were really, we weren't like super rich. We could get maybe one or two games every year, if that, and then have to resell them and do that. And so we're like, oh, Duke Nukem, it's got such cool shit, and it, oh, it looks cool, and blah, 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 blah. tits, you tits. can't grab poop. So we <laughs> downloaded the demo. 
And my brother was all excited. I was all excited. From the moment the game loaded up, I could tell it was a bloody, pus-encrusted, oozing piece of shit. Just such soreness has never been felt in assholes before since Samson railed fucking Delilah, man. It was rough. Which Delilah? Hey there, like, uh, hey there Delilah, Delilah, what's it like in no, the one, the one with Why, 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 Delilah? No, no, the one with the burning bush, you remember. It's oh. Ah, yes. <laughs> Moses. Her poor crabs. bush. The discovery of crabs. So, so anyway, confused. that game just is That's so bad. incredibly awful. It was in the production for a good ten years or so. They kept switching platforms. They couldn't decide on what they wanted to do. Just everything about it. The gameplay, the controls, the plot was just... The worst thing I've ever felt in my life. If I were ever feel anything like that again, I would straight up murder John. Well, the closest hey. thing you'll get... I like John. The like closest John thing too. you'll get is Bulletstorm now has a pre-order packet where you can play the entire game as Duke Nukem. Bulletstorm. The, they come out... It's called the Clip Edition. I did like Bulletstorm, though. Full I, I really edition. liked Bulletstorm. I love the game, so, and I love the way you could kill so many people. We're not so on the ways. subject of good sure, games. Sure, sure. We need bad games here, and our next one is Johnny Boy, who's not going to pass it off this time. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, you can't do that football You can't shit throw again. it on me. All right. <laughs> so, I'm probably going to get a lot of shit for this one, because I've heard uh, a lot of really good things. All right. Ark Survival Evolved. Mm. I was very excited for it. it. Sounded like a great concept. Have any of y'all played? Uh, I've heard about it. It's very incomplete and buggy and terrible. Mm. Yeah, so I yeah. I'd heard a lot of great things. I was very excited about the concept because I was that Minecraft nerd for a while. Mm. <laughs> there you go. Nerd. Honestly, I think Minecraft got all you can really get out of that. Because Ark felt awkward because there it was especially with comparison to minecraft a gorgeous game absolutely beautiful um but it still felt a little clunky because it, it still was the base mechanism was certain things are breakable and usable <laughs> and other things are just environment uh, yeah it, right it felt i cracked myself up like Everything was beautiful and flawless and smooth and perfect, but you couldn't do things that it felt like you should be able to do. And certain, like, using of items and, and like, acquiring items just felt clunky and Minecraft-esque. I which see didn't go well with the whole smooth, realistic style that they were trying to put on it. Realistic, because so you can ride dinosaurs, right? Realistic... For the the environment that they had set, I, I, I think Minecraft got all you can get out of that <laughs> in that it was intentionally blocky and chunky, because Ark tried to work around that and parts of it were accidentally blocky and chunky, and I think it felt awkward. You know, yes, what? quite. Yeah, yeah but right quite. now it's it's yes. doing pretty well for itself. I I it have is. a lot of friends that play. A lot of people play. love it. A lot of people love it. I just didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't like it. Well, Robbie, what what kind of game? We'll also, guest star Robbie. Yeah. Hey, hey he's back. Hey, hey wrong side. Hey. <laughs> What's the worst one you you've ever played? You can't get rid of him. The worst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is it? What do you think? Uh, that would probably have to be Sorry. Torak Evolution. Really? You I, know what? That game was ooh, shit. I was thinking about that game, too. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Uh, uh, Robbie, I mean, thinking. it was a really cool concept. Mm -hmm. I really thought I was going to enjoy it. <laughs> And I, did, I enjoyed it for maybe about two or three hours. Same. And then it started to get really weird. And I did end up finishing the game. And when you end up finishing the game with a T-Rex with, like, missiles or lasers or something attached to it. I know. That, that just kind of blew it all out of the water. I mean, it, I mean overall, it was just weird. Like, right, riding on those, what are those bird dinosaurs called? Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. Are you sure? Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, the <laughs> I want to call them bird dinosaurs for the rest of the day. Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. The bird right. dinosaur. <laughs> the damn bird with dinosaur. The bird dinosaur. Ch chasing like people through mountains with guns, riding a bird dinosaur. That was, or or that the... sounds like Conker's Bad Fur Day. Was there a sequence where you ride a uh, bird dinosaur? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I remember that. That was. I like that game. That was, so so much. It was good. That's Did another you? hit I in the childhood. That. All right. Yeah. Right. And Andrew. So, right. In the yeah, Andrew, what is your least favorite uh, game? <laughs> Man, 
I've been thinking this entire time. It's really, really hard for me to nail down a game that I really didn't like. Right? Brink. It's, it's difficult. I will oh, say one that I was completely I I let down for in. Like I looked forward to this game immensely, and it just, it was nothing that I, I hoped you're gonna for. Say. It was nothing that it could have been. Me and JD have had lengthy conversations about this. Oh, I know what you're gonna this say. Star Wars Battlefront. It was uh, shit. It was, it was shit. So bad. What it what made Battlefront like? I've always said if you reskin, even if you just fucking reskin Battlefront two, I would have been amazed, amazed and happy. Hey. But <laughs> but what it was oh. is was an incomplete, terrible mess. That nothing but multiplayer. Only multiplayer and kill confirmed. You couldn't even just have like normal team deathmatch, team deathmatch, or anything. And then you had to pay for the other half of the exactly. game. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. If was Austin so were, it was incomplete and it was sad and like, I it was a shadow of what. I just was. hope so they do I, good with the next was. one. Can I sort of sure yeah. rebut that a little bit? Yeah. I will give you. It was definitely not a complete game. Hmm. Absolutely yeah. not. It was not a sixty dollar full game. No. It felt like a DLC, honestly. It was. But if it were like a fifteen dollar, like just a little partial game, I enjoyed it. The gameplay, it was good. No, no, here's no, where, no, like, here's where the love was, game, There just wasn't enough. It was beautiful it's for the fan base. Caught. Yeah, it's caught. it was beautiful yeah, for the of. fan base, but it wasn't what it should be. Right, I agree. I think there was a lot of hype for it, and it was marketed as something that it eventually it wasn't. wasn't. I think had they had they tried to push it out as like. Here's this little in-between game to tide you over until our next big release. And the next one's I, supposed I hope to be that's great. What it is. Yeah. I think yeah. it would have been great. It's an enjoyable game. It's just not enough. That's oh, no, I, to be to be fair, I've had I I I had fun playing it. It's good. It looks beautiful. You know, it's just not worth it. And when I hear Battlefront. I think Battlefront 1, I think Battlefront 2. I think Battlefront 2. I think I Battlefront 2. But Battlefront yeah. 2... That is my I game. Sure. And that is not Battlefront 2. The love came from when DICE went into the details of that game. Yeah. Every sound effect is on point. Every little wave of the lightsaber, the it, way that the It just makes you people, feel like you're in, in the movies. You, yeah, no. but it's not enough. Okay, so since we don't want to stay on that subject too long, we are running low on time, we'll just take... You guys take that as you will, and right here, we're going to take this chance to plug our mediocre gaming videos of Battlefront with Austin. Shout yeah. out to Austin him. has some good opinions about this wow! game. Wow! Absolutely. <laughs> Why on my face? So, okay. so, right. so right. to, make up here, to make it up for you, right now, we're just going to take JD's face right here, and we're just going to put it here, <laughs> and here, and over there, right here, and here. <laughs> no! Uh, everybody freeze momentarily. All right. All right. Okay. Man, that's good. Problem. The fact I've that never, everybody did that. I've never been so beautiful in my life. I okay. love for you, Jamie. Okay. Wow. So since we are running slightly wow. low on time, we'll move on to one of the other topics. We've got, what do you guys think? we got psychiatrists. I think psychiatrists uh, first, so okay. we can have an opportunity to see Chase fuck up more. Okay. All right. And then we've got the choice between creating fake video game plots slash teasers or doing an improv song. Which is we'll see. So psychiatrist. Okay, this is how they this is how this game works. Okay. So one of us, and we've already picked, it's John, mm -hmm. tells a story, uh, an embarrassing story about what happened in their past, and then the rest yeah. of us, as psychiatrists, will fully judge indoctrinated, him harshly. Yep. By the internet, we are going to try and see what it means. So John, oh wait, wait, wait. Uh, on that note, though, I must point out in honor of his noodliness. Who I've been touched by on many occasions. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I am I am now a certified Pastafarian minister. So if any of you need any type of spiritual services like weddings, you know, bar mitzvahs, circumcisions, to touch secondary you. circumcisions, <laughs> uh, scrotal exams, uh, baby birthing, I can do it all. And I so, like to party. You literally do it all. Exams. <laughs> so now, Johnny Boy, you may continue after my little plug there. And All I right. like to party. So I must admit, while this was decided a solid half hour ago, I have a plethora of embarrassing dun, 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 childhood dun. stories, and none of them currently in my head. Uh, 
Oh. Everybody starts spouting words, and when something reminds Damn. me, shit, tits, ass, cotton machete, candy. what? Cotton candy, cotton pickles. All right, okay. Watermelon. So this has absolutely Cantaloupe. nothing at all to do with cotton candy. Fantastic. Okay, but it just sort of like blue Apple. was what I got out of that. All right, so blue? I appreciate your input. Blue is clear. Here's the blue. All right, blue. so blue at a point blue. in uh, blue. okay, everyone, blue. shut the fuck up. I was in Florida. I was visiting my grandparents. Oh, all man. right. Um, their address will remain undisclosed, you know, for You have family safety. in Florida, we'll put it too? right down Florida. here. Yay! I have family in Florida, too. And uh, so I was down visiting my grandparents. My grandpa is a garbage driver. Horrendous. He had this big old minivan, and I was like 12. So the best idea I'd had that day was a plethora of gas station Slim Jims, which were absolutely expired. They were on clearance. They were a nickel apiece for the full-size Slim Jims. I had like six of them. Sounds amazing. Because I had 30 cents. That was, they weren't that was very was Slim or Jim. Well, they were Jim for sure. I've tasted a lot of Jims in my day, and those were Jims. Um, my name's not Moving Jim. swift. Well, I haven't tasted just <laughs> Jims. But uh, I also had... This massive, like, 379.43 ounce blue slushy. Was that exact? Exact. Give or take. That's okay. exact. Yeah, you know it's uh, exact. And uh, I just ate all the gyms, pounded the slushy, you know, just... Pounded it. I'm so and, glad uh, Jeffrey's head was in the way for that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, uh, Does it come back? I laid you? down in the back of my, my grandpa's van. Because I was feeling awful. And he drives like shit. And if you've ever driven in Leesburg, Florida, <laughs> it's rough. So we're driving through all the old people. <laughs> Just we mowing them down. down. It's funny because I know. <laughs> what? You have? It's just yeah. dead rising. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and uh, we get Where? to a Cracker Barrel. And if... Rough Any trade. of y'all watching this, we're in Colorado. Cracker Barrel's not really a thing. No. Cracker we Barrel's a we wonderful... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Cracker Barrel's All the like white a are in wonderful it. little Have garbage southern country store slash weird restaurant. Mm-hmm. Slash breakfast restaurant type deal. Garage sale. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, garage sale. <laughs> so I walk in... I've been like, in there I, once. I stumble into this place. And I smell food. And just pearl. Like, obscene amounts. Bright blue. <laughs> Is it the one with, like, the gift shop right in the main entrance? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> I, and I was still walking towards, like, so there's towards. there's a gift shop as you walk in, and then there's the dining room attached to it, and the cashier's, like, between the two. And I'm still walking towards the cashier. Like, I'm getting some fucking food. And I'm still just bleh, all over the floor. Bright ass blue. Like, y'all ever seen a Ziploc bag like these fancy new ones? Well, we have a cup right there. We've. Oh well, yeah. Like if that's you a dark took, blue. If you took that's a combination bright. between this light blue and this dark blue, He's and in then the just threw it up. <laughs> like this. Bright as shit. Yeah, that. Everyone, only, take out your uh, blues. Make it glow <laughs> in post. Okay. Make that shit glow we'll in do. post. Chase all over the place and I thought I was done and I was like yo I'm so sorry I'll help clean it up and as I said up I looked up and I saw the cashier and I thought Jesus you're gorgeous and (laughs) threw up all over her legs Wow, you you got her wet I got her very wet and just soaked and it was still bright blue. Okay. Talk about a blue waffle. I was waffle, like huh? twelve. Uh, oh, okay. I was twelve, and I have uh, a, I have a similar sick story. Sick little shit. <laughs> You're gorgeous. Let me make you more gorgeous with the color blue. <laughs> I have a similar story. Yeah. So, my grandma, she loves to do, go to craft fairs. Mm-hmm. If nobody knows what craft fairs is, like a bunch of old people make a bunch of crafts and they sell them. It's like a bitch. Bit, bitch. Bitch. It's a bitch. It's a bitch. Hey, bitch. It's a bitch. bitch. What up, it's bitch? A, it's a big garage sale in like a church hall, like so. And they're posted every Sunday on like the the newspaper. So my grandma would just 
pack me in the car and go to every craft I just fair. Saw, like right. you getting shoved in this yeah, Pretty much. Like, I'd like sit in the back and I would be snacking on something I got from another craft fair. I go into a craft fair and it smells like old people, old the scent ass of death. popcorn. Scent of death. Yeah. I hurl so hard on this mat and the old lady's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> And I hurl on her as well. And my grandma was like, oh my god. Bam! She's like, go to the car! And I was like, this is the car. She's still searching in the craft fair while everybody's picking up my throw up. And I, I threw up in the car. Everybody just taken piece by piece. piece. By is this piece. a new craft? What is this? Yeah, this and is then, self-made. And then my grandma comes this to the car. This is better than what Betty brought last year. Then, yeah, more like a she crap fair, Betty. Shit. <laughs> and then my grandma comes to the car and sees that I threw up in the car. <laughs> and Damn. she beat my ass. <laughs> But yeah, yeah. I just throw up on you too get hard me. because I love you very much. Wow. Did we ever psychoanalyze psychoanalyze Jones? No. But to no. be fair though, you got a good ass for beating. You really do. You got a good ass for whatever. Right. Like I'd do anything to your ass. So uh, in one sentence, wow. we each need to psychoanalyze John Chase. Oh shit! Quick, uh, yep. uh, you're trying. Right. You're trying to put your innermost feelings and put them. On somebody else of the opposite sex, you're trying to make them part of you That's in the most said, direct that way. Started as like a rough pun, and then it just got <laughs> gross and weird yeah. and just off. Um, so you like... throwing up on the girl was your you getting all your deepest, most inner feelings out, and then trying to make them like you. All right, yeah, Jeffrey, I'm... what's the verdict? <laughs> I'm about. Does he pass his bachelor's exam? What or... the fuck? This isn't about. Nope. This is about you. Everyone, this little topic right here in three. Two, one, Chase, Chase fucked, fucked up! up. <laughs> All right. Damn. What did I do? JD. You fucked up. Right. JD, it's I'm your like, I'm going to get deep on your ass. Ready? <laughs> what? You what? My ass. You're up. All right. Same. So, once you build up all of the emotions in your life, and you see that one girl, and she knows how to reach those deep things in your life, you regurgitate those feelings, and you... Open yourself up to that beautiful woman. But she saw your tonsils. <laughs> she yeah, did. She, she did. Thank you. She, and wanted, she wouldn't go play you, hockey with him, but you, you know. You opened yourself to her. Unfortunately, she did not take you. Yeah. No, she didn't she, even take your you order. See, unfortunately, but we are still remembering I was like 12, right? Yeah. You made it sound like he was spreading her legs and she was like, nah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> no, I didn't mean it like that. It's very <laughs> much. You got so sad. Sorry. You got sad at you. I was meaning like. We value you, you JD. Like, I don't know why. Deep I... in the feels. Why are you gonna make everything perverted? I'm sorry. I just. <laughs> okay, psychiatrist number three. What are we talking yeah. about? I don't. I think we should reserve our final opinion for the one of us who yeah. actually has a degree in. I'm psychology. still working yeah. on getting... He doesn't have a degree. I have an associate's degree. Associates. Oh, yeah. shit. And it's not I'm much. You've Chinese. been surprised by this at least yeah. a dozen times in my presence. You know what? Know. Maybe Same. you should psychoanalyze that. <laughs> yeah, psychoanalyze right. someone else, because right now I'm still me? trying to get yes. the image out Fuck of 12-year-old Johnny Boy getting pegged by a waitress, okay? Wow. They have those little pegboards at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> 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 triangle things with the golf tees. Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Those fucking things are a craft okay, fair. Okay, so Andrew, <laughs> Andrew and then uh, uh, Robbie and me. Um, I'm going to go with deep-seated guilt for inherent racism. And you're probably right. I couldn't agree no. more. And I did say it was a southern store, right? Yes, yeah. and that's why I'm uh, going with <laughs> Wait, um, well, Jim named fast produce snacks. It was the Jim Crow vomit. <laughs> the Jim, yeah. the Jim wow. Crow vomit, which was triggered uh, uh, by the uh, cracker in the Cracker Barrel. The cracker in you the barrel. You were so triggered. I hate white people. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do it. Then you're gonna you love me. You hated yourself so much, you Kick physically vomited out the Jim Crow gyms. 
up to my That was solid. Holy well fucking shit. Well would give PhD immediately. All right. You've Robbie. raged my PhD, raised my PhD. So I, I, what I about think my guys? Nice good, good what about my guys? I think you yes, need to dude, shut the hurry up middle. and come out of the closet. I mean, yeah, you you're, did. you're eating meat sticks from Jim. And I think you need to stop fantasizing that he's a slur. Jim's meat. All right. So there's there's absolutely That's no slim. like coming out of the closet that needs to be done. <laughs> <laughs> come wherever you want. Bingo. Usually <laughs> in their closets. A. Oh, always. A. A. W. A. X. B. T. STDs. Mike oh, no. <laughs> Take care Mike of Mike Bukowski. I like it. Oh my god. Okay, so. Alright. Uh, You're up. Space. Psychologist. Okay. My professional diagnosis uh, would be. Excuse me. Sorry. I'll fuck you later, thanks. What? Same. So, wow. my professional diagnosis uh, is that you have this, all these things inside of you, right? I, <laughs> usually. No, constantly. No, Most days. You have all these thoughts constantly circulating, and they build up pressure, like an Irishman, you know? Where they just keep the emotions inside of them, and then one day with they die. With liquor, yeah. So... With that, your body is saying, John, John, you gotta let it out. You gotta have this stuff out, Shout. or you're going to die Shout. young, sad, and alone. Let it all and so, out. you know, hey. you have to, your body oh. is trying to give you this actual physical reminder, and you're refusing it. But it just flops out of you so violently, <laughs> like some dead schizophrenic child desperately flying, trying to cry for God one last time. God! And you intentionally Jesus. refuse. Are you a dead schizophrenic child? No, I'm scared of this hand. And you consistently <laughs> fail to recognize it. So you just gotta let it out, Johnny boy. Just let so, it out. One more time, I have to allow it. To you ruined my glasses. Aggressively out of my physical being. Mm -hmm. Okay. But like what a about dying the girl? schizophrenic child crying out to God for one last time. What does the crack what about the girl? The girl? Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, that just means. That just means I was she's a just a dime. Like the catalyst. She's just a dime let, piece. Let the, let the professional <laughs> speak. It's the obvious uh, Freudian solution. You want to fuck your mom. So, <laughs> what the with fuck? that in mind. Uh, that's so that's psychiatrist. Kind of classic Back to the Future. <laughs> classic so, John. <laughs> okay, so the only way we can end this is with something ridiculous. Either A, we're making a fake video game plot, or B, we're singing an improv song. What do you guys think? What's improv song. Okay, guys. Uh, let's end it out with style. Alright, who's who's dropping the beat here? Diddy. Banana out now. Banana out now. Tits. End it. That was almost as good as your rap in that one video that you guys should go see. That was terrible. Love you guys. Take it easy, guys. Oh my god.